I love London! I take the tube from one part of town to explore another. To exit, I ride a very long, tall escalator. Now, the British people are very civilized riders of escalators. The elderly and people carrying heavy roast beefs staying to the right, leaving the left free for those wishing to walk up the stairs. The fitness types or, or poets rushing to get their sonnets published in the big daily newspapers. Now, this is a better system than on American escalators, which are often clogged by ladies with large bottoms standing side by side, making it impossible for anyone to pass them. Even on the down escalators, these fat, unmoving bottoms are lined to block your path, large shopping bags sealing all remaining crevices. Standing on these escalators, their bottoms growing even larger as they ride from lack of exercise, causing all the bottoms and all the fattening Americans behind them also to grow fatter from lack of movement, then all these fattening Americans getting off the end of the escalator and waddling out into the store and street with even huger bottoms than when they got on, these immense behinds in turn blocking and slowing the other Americans walking behind them in a steady, self-feeding, fat-making chain reaction. And so it goes, in an ever-expanding cycle of ever-expanding behinds, fat, beginning slow, beginning even more fat, the future moment relentlessly approaching when the vast multitudes of huge American bottoms takes up all available space so that all movement slowly grinds to a halt. Every American's fat behind crushed up against everyone else's, no one able to move, unable even to twist in place. America now one vast, inert, sweating creature, melted into a fat butt lock solid, trying to sing a country song to quell its rising panic, but no steel guitar-driven ballad about finally choosing your gal over your pickup truck is ever going to unglue this continent-spanning fat-ass mass. America halted, defunct, crushed, caput, finny, because somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic, on that ride over on the Mayflower, clutching our pilgrim hats to our heads in the salt spray and singing about predestination, we lost that good British sense to stand to the right. <laughs>